Hey enterprise detailers, this is Wendell Smith with MVP Distributing. We're going to be walking you through all of the products and the techniques to get a really good detail on the cars here at Enterprise. So let's start with an introduction to your products. First is SantaClean. This is your bactericide and viricide. It's going to kill all the bugs that are inside the car from the customer so that you don't spread it onto the next one or importantly onto yourself. Okay. The next one is scrubbing bubbles. This is going to take care of all of your bugs, clean your wheels, your tires, everything around the outside that gets really gross and dirty that is hard to get clean. Our next one is going to be our super gloss, which is going to shine your panels on the exterior and make them look nice and new without being greasy. And on the inside as well, Easy Zyme is going to take care of your organic your organic stains, things like pet odors or vomit or food that you're going to find inside the car. Okay. Faster foam right here is going to clean almost all of your inside fabrics and leather and everything without leaving any residue. And it's going to also kill any leftover things that the, the uh, back to band or this Santa clean might've missed. Then your glass cleaner, which of course is self-explanatory. And finally, the bling. This is your special blend tire shine, which is going to shine up your tires and make the car look nice and new. Give that walk up appeal to the customer. So now that you know all the products, let's go ahead and get started cleaning. Our first product we're going to demonstrate is the uh, Santa Clean. Now I recommend that when the customer pulls the car in uh, to return the car, that whoever receives the car does this before they even pull it back. Just the safest way to make sure the car is sanitized before anyone gets in when that customer drops it off. And of course, we recommend going ahead and wearing through your eye protection and your gloves as well, just in case. Always good to be safe. So if they drop the car up front, we're just going to go ahead and at least make sure we sanitize the surfaces they touch the most to be able to take the car back. So we're just going to go ahead and spritz down the areas that get used the most, the dash, the seats, the center console, those areas that we're going to go ahead and touch. So by the time someone comes to pick up the car and take it back for cleaning, it's already sanitized, it's already safe to use. All right, the first thing we want to do once we get it back to the bay, we want to make sure that we have our soap done and ready in our buckets. Now, we don't want to use too much soap and we only want to fill them once a day, okay? So all we want to do, go ahead and push this button up and fill the soap. We just want to put about four to six inches worth of soap into here uh, of your soapy water. And that's going to last all day long for us. So we have nice clean soap and we have a nice clean bucket so we don't scratch our cars. That's just about right. Our next step is we're going to go ahead and prep all the bugs, the wheels and tires before we do anything else so that we make sure that we get everything a good dwell time or soaking time so that it's much easier to take it off. So we'll go ahead and spray down our bumpers okay, with our scrubbing bubbles, hit our mirrors, hit our windshield, and then we'll go ahead around and we'll hit all four tires. Let me show you how to hit a tire really well since we're going to be on this side. Come around the wheel and tires and get the whole thing. If there's any tar or other things up the side, we can hit it with this as well. All right. Hit our wheels and tires all the way around. And now we're ready to go ahead and start scrubbing the car. All right, now we want to go ahead and give this baby a bath. So we've got our soap all prepped. We'll grab the brush and we always want to start from the top and go ahead and go down. Now I like to scrub before spraying, even though I've got the scrubbing bubbles on here, because I like that extra dwell time so it's even easier and make sure all those bugs come off all of the way. All right, so let's start on the top and work our way down. The Cherry Soap is designed to be a highly foamy product 
that you only need to dip your brush once or twice during the whole process of washing the car. So it makes it easier to not have to return to the bucket multiple times and makes your job faster. Plus, the product rinses off easily and makes it easy for you to do the job and look like a pro. Then go ahead and take your squeegee and let's dry off as much of the car as we can. Now we can go ahead and catch the remainder with our blower and get the car nice and dry. Let's go ahead and open the car, get all the doors open. Look around for garbage and get that all pulled out. While we're at it, we'll go ahead and pop the hood in and fill up our washer fluid. All topped off and ready to go. Our next thing, let's slide those seats all the way forward and use something like this snow brush or our new special brush that we have coming for you that we're gonna go ahead and reach under the seats so we don't use our bare hands and possibly find something we don't wanna find under there like a needle or something else. So let's use this, reach under, and just grab anything under there and pull it out so we can get to it and throw it away. Once we got all the garbage out of here, we're going to go ahead and flip the vacuum on. Once again, this light really helps me be able to see what I'm doing and see everything under the seat. Now, when we go into the interior, even though we have some pretty good lighting, I like to use a headband that's got a nice light on it so that I can see what I'm doing. So we're gonna go into the inside and go ahead and clean the seats and carpets. And we're gonna, sh we're gonna show you what to do with a couple of the tools. So back here we have a seat. On the seat, it looks like we have some gum and it looks like we have, this one's pretty clean, but we'll go ahead and demonstrate using Faster Foam, our yellow can product. Uh, faster foam is going to kill a lot of odors and things in here, but if it's something like a pet or, like I said, vomit or food, then we're going to want to go ahead and use EasyZyme, which has an enzyme that will digest the source of the odor. But this one will do most of our job, and it's a dry foam so that we don't have the seats getting wet and giving pr customers problems with having a wet backside.
Now we're going to go ahead and use our EasyZyme product and demonstrate that for you. We typically don't want to use that as much on seats because it stays a lot wetter, but in the case of vomit or food or an organic stain, this is the best thing to use because it digests the source of the odor and really does a great job at cleaning. So let's show you. I like to use a cross hatch pattern where I go back and forth two different directions. So I go one way. And then I come back at a 90 degree angle the other way. This helps me get everything out a lot better. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and finish our interior, all the plastic, with our super gloss product. Now, this one's a little low, so we're gonna top it off, so we'll show you how to do that. Over here on your Hydraminder, on this DEMA machine, we're gonna turn it from bug over to our shine. And all we do is come over and push the bottle up all the way on. And go ahead and watch it. And it'll stop for us when we get it to the level that we want. And we're ready to start using our product. Now it's already sat for quite a while with that Santa clean all over the plastic and those hard surfaces. So everything's gonna be nice and sanitized because whoever took the car in already sprayed it down for us all over the dash, the center console, and those high traffic areas. So now we're just ready to go ahead, spray down our doors and put some on one of the microfiber towels to dress out our dash and everything around the center console. So let's show you how we do that. The way I like to do my interiors with super gloss is I like to shoot it on my doors and then come back, wipe my doors down and have this towel all full of super gloss to be able to do the dashboard and my center console. So this is what I do. Just a quick spray on my door on each one of them. Come around to all these, hit those. Just real quick. And then I come back to my first door with a little extra on my towel and wipe it all down and start on my dash. Now I'm gonna go ahead, after I've wiped down my doors, I've got a good amount of of uh, super gloss on my towel. I can throw a little more on if I want. I'm gonna give a quick wipe down on my dash and all around my fixtures and my center console. All right, our next step, after we finish that inside and finish all of our plastic, we're gonna go ahead and do our windows. But we do our inside first, okay? And we do it a specific way. And it's called a wet towel, dry towel method. So our first towel, okay, we're gonna go ahead and just put a little bit of product on. We don't need more than just a little line is all it takes. We're gonna go ahead on the inside, we're gonna go up and down to clean our windows, okay? The reason being is because on the outside, we'll go back and forth. And if we have a streak when we pull it out, we'll be able to see which side of the window it's on. Wet towel. This is our polishing dry towel, the paper towels. So up and down, go all the way around the outside. And we're gonna go up and down until we've got everything off. Flip that towel over, give it one last little buff. Now your towels, now your window is going to be nice and clean on the inside and we can move on and finish all the rest all the way around the car. Okay, our second to the last step, we're going to go ahead and dress the tires and then we'll finish up with our exterior windows very last. So for our tires, just go ahead and get down here. We just want to spray right all the way around the tire. One coat's plenty.
and go ahead and hit all four tires like that and you're good to go. In our very last step, we're gonna go ahead and finish our windows, our exterior windows, just in case any of that tire shine landed up on the glass. So all it takes is a little bit of glass cleaner to go ahead and do this, our wet towel. Once again, inside we went up and down. So here we're gonna go back and forth. So if we have a streak, we can identify where it's at. Just take a, just a slightly damp towel and it'll just wipe right out for us. Wet towel and our dry towel. Flip it over and buff it until it's completely dry. And we'll have some nice clean glass. Now you know the enterprise way and the MVP way to get a car completely clean and deliver a quality product to our customers that's safe because we've sanitized it, safe for you because we took care of that in the beginning as well, and something where the customer is going to be very happy with the product that you deliver. So have a great time and we'll see you next time from MVP.